this uh, no mic thing. But man, oh, good old faithful snake. Can I be heard? Hold on a second. I had the, the voice set up. Man, I only streamed once on this channel last month. Towards the end here, I was trying to get the Cruelty Squad and Soldier of Fortune done. And I'm glad I got my goals accomplished. Well, initially, I was like, I can do that, and then one more video. I wanted to have some kind of easy edit troll video, but you can't win them all. I did what I could. Well, realistically could. It was like, you know. It would be cool if I can get out four videos a month. I think three, as I keep saying, is the... It's the thing. But who cares besides the patrons? Do you even care, Snake? You just come for the streams and to leave witty comments. Such witty comments, man. Well, it's, uh, it's probably at the Discord. Zero coconut viewers. Damn, Snake, you already left? Shit. It's like, hey, see ya. Well, don't worry. I'm tired. I wanted to do a nice little stream. This is live. No one. This is live. No one. Stream peaked with me. You're right. It went like. <laughs> nope. I just saw it. Well, maybe it's the thumbnail. Now everyone has a foot fetish. The nasty toenail. <laughs> yes, I know. I need to trim them. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Should put a question mark like an actual like, oh, who cares? I care. Someone join, man. Come on. <laughs> For real though, because the plan, I actually have a plan, so I was just smoking the bomb, was to play uh, Soldier of Fortune 2 until some cruelty squad experts came in with their suits and then they fastened their ties and then they unfastened them. So their throats could be clear enough for them to tell me some tips on how to beat the last mission. So that's what I talked about in the video. And I want to follow up with it. Because I would like to beat the last mission. But with commentary from a crowd. Two people. So Snake, you gotta invite your mother in here. Or father. Whoever you're closer to. I really think the, the found a foot thing was a, it was a terrible idea. Also, I'm competing with Friday. But, you know, you shouldn't compare them to all your other stream starts. You should just be happy someone showed up. Because if you compare it... No, shut up. Shut it and do the thing. You need it. There's somebody. Greed via greed. Welcome to the street. Ugh. We got really good at it nine hours in. Probably ate seven of that is random generator. Eight. Eight of it. Who knows? Damn, meme thumbnails from Carl. Or thumbnails. <laughs> I called emoji thumbnails. Oh, those thumbnails. Already off to a boomer start. Keep going, uh. <laughs> you found a foot. This is, this may have been my worst thumbnail yet, but I thought it was going to be a good one. People click on it and it's just fucking foot in the chat talking to you. Would you talk to the foot guys? May I killed off my audience. Maybe I severed them. Oh, I'll stop. But continue. Continue. 
No, you see that? It was hidden behind it, but now I'm not. That wake y'all up any? The feet of fortune. One thing that's been in my head about sh my stream is some guy kept telling me during the last stream to set my filter to active. I don't know what that meant. Do you guys know what that means? Green fire snake. Do you guys know what an active filter is? Does it like show up? I always thought because like if I look at my page, it says active live, so I would assume it's active already. But that'd be the only excuse I would have. Be like, why well, don't I have 500 people in here? I think I'm pretty active, man. One more little hit. Gotta get the juices flowing. Is it quiet enough? It's quiet. Not watching me. What kind of random mission do you guys want to see? Huh? So, yeah, I probably should have done anything but the feet, foot. Now, Snake will probably just keep making feet puns, right? Is that the goal? Something you do before starting a stream. Well, like smoke weed, you should do that first. Not during. Just confuse the people. Don't let them in. Don't be transparent. Like, why, why are you acting like such a fucking dumbass? Uh. Damn, you couldn't run this game on Windows 7 back in 2011? Like at all? With like this little like uh, odometer over here? I don't know what you would call it. This would just ruin your computer. The, the menu is really advanced. I assume you mean when you launch the game up. I'm just being a jackass trying to make it funny. Let's raise the difficulty a little bit. I could have probably spent a little more time with the limb loss video, but I wanted it to be about limb loss. I didn't want to like go too into detail about the game itself. And like just, I like noticing little details. It's fun, dorky details, but I think there's the certain type of enemies actually range. Like with like, I noticed the hills, they have like these like Chinese gangsters. They just have like uh, fucking micro Uzis. I was calling them Mac 10s or Mac 11s, whatever they are. And uh, just basic guns. But then like you, you fight some people in the snow and they usually have assault rifles and stuff, yada yada. So I'll play the hills because I want to do like a scout rush. Not soldier of fortune difficulty. Let's just do gun for hire. That's, that's what I was playing on a little bit. That and amateur. Amateur's a little too easy. Hey, man of Ray. It got popular because of the Ukrainian guy. The one guy I was talking about in the video or is it someone else? Who are we talking about? The guy who does the gore reviews. I might have to check out more of his gore reviews. But hello, man, Array. Silly Santa joke. Santa, son, son of a jackal. How's it going, man? Appreciate you joining my little quiet stream. My foot. I appreciate you clicking on my foot. Okay, the gore guy. Let's select the inventory. I don't want these fucking hand me down inventory. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's somewhat, this game's a lot easier if you just go with the sniper rifle, but it's a bit more challenging if you just run in with shotguns. Get rid of the macro Uzi. Macro. <laughs> micro. Necro. Whoa, that didn't sound on. Necro. That's kind of close. Wait. 
Sounds serious. Dude, I, I gotta find the video that this guy who sounds serious. <laughs> I'm a big Joe Rogan podcast nerd, as in like I know I learned about a bunch of comedians through his podcast, yada yada. Funny people. There was some video about this guy break uh breaking down Bill Burr's body language at the show. There's this uh, certain show this comedian, or I think a couple comedians have, they call Kill Tony, where they have like a, uh, an amateur comedian or someone who wants to be a comedian come up there and uh, do like a, a minute of stand-up, yada, yada, and they usually suck, and they make fun of him. But Bill Burr was, was like trying to defend the guy. I, I don't know. Like it was, it was just Bill Burr being Bill Burr. But this guy's video, he was like breaking it down. Like so It was just so like cringy just from the open. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to show the video, but not actually show you the video. Just you can watch it yourself if you want to. But um yeah, I wouldn't click on this thumbnail either. You found a foot. I would just like okay, and I'll just skip over it. Well, you win some, you lose some. Okay. Wait, I gotta find this video. This video. Leave him alone. I didn't watch the whole video. I watched a good amount of it, it was a good shit watch. And that doesn't diminish a video when you say, Oh, I watched it, I was taking a shit. It's usually the best time to watch stuff. But I don't know. You, you, I really appreciate a couple, like at least one or two motherfuckers tell me they sit down and watch my videos with a mill. That's when you, when you should, you're appreciated. But shitting, a little passive. I don't, I'm gonna X out. I'm gonna X out. I think I have to. So I'm gonna just put this video up on screen. I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm just fucking all over the place as usual. But all right, I don't know. This guy's channel and sorry if i if i make fun of him it's punching you get it it's punching up i'm not making fun of him i can't say his name glidget ronin ronin <laughs> ronin sorry about that but what happened here was so ridiculous i don't know i don't like his delivery i don't like his delivery it reminds me of this uh guy who's really enthusiastic at chick-fil-a drive through line the, the not like not just some random guy i'm so bad at explaining things an employee at chick-fil-a doing his job be enthusiastic hey how am i gonna take your order all right, uh, let's see if this will play. There's a negative line. Tony will find it. There it is. Right between the rails. I mean, I, I, I just want to hear it. I don't know. I'm ju I think I judged the guy's voice. ...takes on an entire panel of judges in a gruesome psychological battle. And what makes this clip so interesting is the fact that he does it all while defending a hopeless stand-up comedy. I don't know. It's just the, the real excited. Like, this guy's into it, which is fine, man. I get into some stupid shit. It were as the internet. Like I was explaining to someone, some normie, how people use the term autism or, or for getting into stuff, but also for just calling people dumb. He's autistic, but also you could say like, "Oh, I'm autistic about math. I love doing math problems." Um, you know, and I always have bad habit of reading the, the comments. And someone's thought, I don't know, someone said something about a. Uh, like this guy sounds like he just took one psychological class, one psychology class. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a weird breakdown. That that's what the guy does. I mean, I make stupid space station videos. Who the fuck am I to judge people what they make their content about? It just made me laugh. Um. So. Back to Soldier Fortune Two. <laughs> I didn't even. You, you could choose to watch the video. I mean, it kept me entertained for eight minutes. I'm not saying it's a bad video or the guy's a bad guy. I was making fun of him. Because what I do, I'm a dick. Dick. Valentina the Mad. Just in case. Just in case. We don't need no binoculars. Nicholas! Nikolai. Thank you, Nikolai. I'm glad a uh, Cruelty Squad uh, expert showed up. I really should have called this stream Cruelty Squad stream. And now I, this is a throwaway stream. This is a foot stream. I might not might not do it then. I, I, I was talking about doing the last mission of Cruelty Squad with some people helping me. However... I should probably advertise that in the title. Be like, hey, I need help playing Cruelty Squad. Then some people might show up instead of like, oh, it's just a fucking foot. Hey, yeah, Sky Rush. 
I started like halfway through my recording. I or not probably halfway. Let's say three fours. Sorry, I'm being honest. I'm an honest guy. Where uh, they where I got rid of the crosshair, and it made the game a little more challenging. But when you just run up on my first with shotguns, it doesn't make a difference. Um, or a sniper rifle because yeah, you got the scope there. But shooting a rifle from a distance is a bitch. Cause but the main reason I did it was for recording. I didn't want to block. I didn't want the crosshair taking up the. I thought I was using a sword rifle for a second. <laughs> this, yeah, basically I am. But uh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Just because you bad guy doesn't mean you bad guy one game. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean, Manta Ray? And you can't drive the forklifts. I'm like, cruelty squad. I always have to compare each game to whatever game I'm playing. I should have made the whole video about like, well, this is why this game isn't like cruelty squad. That could become my channel. I mean, that's sort of what a lot of my videos have been, where it's like, well, this game, is, people have said it's like Space Station, but this is why it isn't with Barrow Trauma. I don't know, I've done I've done the jokes with some games, and I even, the last video I've been fucking talking about how I cut legs off. I had to mention it. I was like, man, I, I do I, I fucking I'm a, I do the same shit in Space Station, where I'm just I just take people's limbs. But in this one they they die, which I mentioned. Yeah, they survive. I mean, and you can survive without an arm or legs in Space Station, and that's your character for the round. I got I got, I got one come to me. They gotta come to me. Oh, that wasn't too bad. But I was telling my girlfriend today about how last night, uh, whenever I was playing, yeah, it was last night. I, got, I was walking out. I didn't expect these motherfuckers to come. This one, it was just just something like that. But it got me like, oh, I felt it in my heart, like you know, like, like scary alone FPS feeling. I may have been playing with headphones, but yeah, the motherfucker pop around a corner, sort of like that. But I, yeah, I don't know. I was so, it caught me off guard completely. The best types of jump scares. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh yeah, this I would love. I would pay sixty bucks for a remaster of this for sure. <laughs> Blood and guts flying around. Yes, welcome, John Bell. How's it going, Monopoly John Bell? Let's try scouting again. Oh yeah. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> hmm. When it comes to really old games, I don't know. Because this is going to be a real naive thing for me to say, or, or maybe I'm ignorant. When it comes to like really old games, I, I would assume the sequels might be better because they would add stuff. But it might be like modern sequels where they take stuff out. So. And also, they might suck because it might just be like just like the first game. So, what do you like about the first one? Is it just like childhood, or do you think there's anything better? Oh yes, I love when they lose their gun. Or maybe he didn't have a gun. He only came with this gun. What should I do with him, guys? Oh, yeah, no, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> this is so creepy. He's trying to get past me. Like, oh man, don't shoot my arm off, man. Oh good, I didn't. It was just quick clean just to the fucking if I shot his arm off he would have been like alive for a while like, this game is a serial killer game I just cornered that guy I wonder if they have like a sidearm or something I don't know why he didn't have a gun he's gonna try to wrestle me I think I mentioned this before but there was some game X play reviewed where they talked about how the enemies would run out of ammo and they just follow you around without like you know they they wouldn't even shoot you on or they they lower their guns and they just walk around. I always thought that was like the fun one of the funniest X play gags. I can't remember which game it was. I definitely mentioned it, but it kind of gives me the, the, those vibes whenever I see uh, these motherfuckers just they, they don't lose ammo they just lose their gun somehow. It's happened a couple times. Dude, I can't fucking aim. Worth a damn. But this still missed. That's easier. 
I'm gonna get fucked up when I go over there. I'm uh, if I die again, I'll get the I'll whip out the sniper. Probably best to just cosplay. Um, I could take two or three. Uh, let's four. Oh, five. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. They die easier on amateur. Or I die. What the? Oh, they were shooting each other. What was going on? Oh, fucking! I think he was actually shooting them. What is? Oh, no! <laughs> He's running too. What the hell? Did they just not give their dudes guns on the hills? So I was just talking about how these guys have lesser guns than like the enemies in the snow or whatever. But I need a fucking health kit. But did they not even get their turret gun? Turret, turret gunners. Uh, uh sidearm or something. Fucked up. Right, I'm gonna catch up a chat. You guys are actually talking a little bit. It was Boyce on a war magazine. They just like show people getting ripped up in it. Like, yeah, check this out, man. Nice. I really enjoyed Texas comment on my video this morning if no one else saw it. He said he was playing this game in front of his grandpa, who was a war veteran, and he's like, "Shoot that guy in the face!" Is how he would tell it, I guess. That made me laugh. Uh, Spaz toss. Oh, fucking! I love the Spaz toss, and I get, I think it was on Rainbow Six. I don't know. Whichever. I'm trying. To, that may have been the first game I discovered it. I'm like, this is such a cool looking gun. It is though. It's like it has, it has like a nice rack on it. You can hang shit off it. But you're a little nice and tight and coat on your spaz twelve. I'm a fucking idiot. Sorry. Right. Soldier one is ancient bindo. Oh, of course, pretty good. But it's better than this, right? John Bell's just being a thought because he was cute. A grown man to a bloody stump. I like uh. My buddy Marmar always talks about nuggify and nuggets. Turn people into nuggets. He commented on this. There's one video that just said nugget. And yeah. I'm gonna die, alright. Hath gun for hire. Well, you could like, this is before the dark web. Like, this is where you went to get your hired killers. Like, ah. Oh. I'm gonna check them out like a yellow pages, a little magazine. I'm gonna look into that snake. What's going on? That's like a different. Oh, the same mission. I, I didn't actually look at my target. Also, what I realized was the targets each go with the biodome, biome, biodome, biome. Uh, like the the hills has the lady, and I guess Duke Nukem is on snow. I don't know. You don't know what I'm talking about. This guy looks like Duke Nukem. This is the Chinese gangster lady. Here I come. See, but now he has a gun. Now it doesn't. I guess it's just a freak ass. Mary football. Hello, OJ Smalls. I mean, only the guys who look past the foot are showing up. The regulars. Should have known the foot was not going to attract anyone new. It made you feel unhappy. <laughs> you thought I was going to cut myself with my bare foot. You should, you should. If I was wearing a boot, it would, I, I couldn't. It would have applied. Don't worry, I won't do anything like that for fame. I won't cut my toe off for fame. What, what that sentence must be, but I appreciate you, man. I really hope for. You know, the, the next video is gonna be me climbing a barricade or something. I gotta top that, make you feel even more uneasy. But that's what you want. You don't want enjoyment, you just want anxiety from your YouTube videos. Right? No. I like watching crazy shit like that sometimes. But it's not like the regular. You got to be. It's not the regular occurring content. You, you know, you're not into the personality of a car crash. You just uh, want to watch it sometimes. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Look. 
Maybe the other guys paid a bunch of South Africans to shoot someone. I don't know if there's like a specific race, like, I'm not racist, put into like a joke. It's not even like a joke, it's just like what happened. Just make sure you get South Africans, you know. Or some Argentinians. Argentinians, they went and stole some gold from a bank. Makes it better, you know. Yeah, some Mexicans. You're about that town. <laughs> yeah. Heard about that town? No, are you? Just, I don't know if that's part of what we were saying, or if that's that's a real town, because it's probably a real town. In, in 2021, anything can happen. Limb loss. Place was called Numb City. <laughs> this is a real thing. Damn it, man! That would have been perfect for the video. I would have known about this. Uh, we would have just been some filler. Is it the end? Maybe. I don't know. I was being precautious. Oh, but now I got health. So I can be ready. <laughs> he just blew his man up. I finally lost the habit of cruelty squad reloading, only to probably go back into it soon. I want to go play it and find some secrets without the pressure of recording. Yeah, I saw that in my Discord today. Uh, the. The fucking flash game everybody used to play. I, mean, I used to play it too. The fucking little whatever. <laughs> That's how to describe. You just take your face and draw an X on it. Little body guys, little little Raymond motherfuckers. It was a fun game, but it looks cool. I might have to get that. I definitely will eventually. Nub City, Florida. All these things are in weird communities and shit in Florida. I mean, I know it's like, oh, Florida, man. But I think that's where, like, I saw some, like, old, like underpass of, like, sex offenders or pedophiles or whatever, like, community. I, there's some kind of weird community where, like, there's some kind of weird clause. I don't know. Or not club, but, like, there's a community of them. They're, like, all together. Like, this is weird. I mean, definitely don't go near there. Something bad will happen to you. Or... You know, be careful. They might get together and they'll just plan a big like, like you know, instead of like out of it, instead of like going and robbing a bank, they're gonna just go rob some people to fucking you know do shit too. <laughs> Couldn't finish it. Couldn't finish it. Couldn't land it. But, but on some like no, don't say it. But I, I had I had to finish my thought at least. But it's stupid. That's Hollywood, right? <laughs> no, they they got money and they're they're not homeless. It's like an underpass of like of people like I don't know. Look up like a pedophile community in Florida. I mean, if you do that, then they're gonna think you want a brochure. <laughs> I heard about that before. True, Freddie. Fun oh, Freddie Fungus. I mean, it's the problem with YouTube videos. Just everything. I mean, like I'm tr I try to get into reading. I've, I've, I've I didn't finish this book. I've been trying to read this one book all year, but I bought two more books. Let me show you two. I haven't even started them. But I was gonna get at it because so much information, yada yada, but yeah, information just gets thrown at you in little YouTube videos. You don't actually like get to learn the subject, you just get like little tidbits and facts here and there, I guess. Um but I don't even remember what they were about, they just look cool. I like the covers. No. Something the crowded hour, Theodore Roosevelt, the Rough Riders, and the Dawn of the American Century. You know, I learned about an old, old cool pa pa president. He rode horses, man. The president used to be. And then, um, the Benazi King. Benazi. Can't even say the fucking word right now. Benazi. Probably can never say it. Benazi. Banana. And I think it's about, like, some immigrant who got really rich off oil. This is what the synopsis is. And it sounds cool. Some books, I don't know. I'm, probably, I'm not much of a reader, but, like, when I was, like, looking at them, um, when talking to my girlfriend, I was like, she's like, you know, you might, you might as well go, you might read them one day. But I don't want to be that dick who has some books just lying around and you don't fucking read. Boba Bad Banana. I couldn't fucking say it. I'll, I'll, I'll have to look it up. I'm so bad at pronouncing shit. I, I love, like, how you can, like, when you look up a definition, usually, usually I'd, like, I still have to look up definitions for words. I'm not saying I know definitions of words, but usually when I look up a word, it's because I can't pronounce it. I might know it, but like sometimes I can't pronounce it. Let the like like sit there and just press the little the like the the ladies. It used to uh, that used to not be an option on Google, but I would imagine when it first came, out, I can't remember if it was like more robotic. But now it just it sounds sort of human. It's still robotic. Uh, 
You know what I'm talking about. Everyone. Yeah, so much knowledge and sh so much shit coming at you, you forget if stuff's real or not. If, like, I couldn't remember if the pedophile community was something I made up for a stupid space station joke, or if that was something that really happened. <laughs> or, like, these motherfuckers are under the own path. Like, oh, yeah, here, show us your fucking sex offender papers and come on in. You know, we got s'mores burning. Oh, yeah, both of them. Two at a time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's still, oh, he's still the, the different animate. They, yeah, he lost his leg mid animation. Uh, I like these uh, balcony doors. It makes me feel like I'm in a Japanese anime. Well. Bones, oh, yeah, those are bones. And I didn't mention how much I love, like how they just like kind of wiggle like fucking motherfuckers and like Scarface when they're taking like bullets. Uh, you hit them with the Uzi. It's probably what it's a reference to. The stuff I've seen looks too normal to be an entire town of pedophiles. We're talking about the homeless thing. We're talking about Hollywood. What are we talking about? I can't keep up. Psycho not the book or the video game? What are we talking about, man? Ray? Cause you're talking about books. Turn that man into Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey man, if this was a space station, he'd be Lieutenant Dan, but that guy is dead. Didn't Lieutenant Dan die in the movie though too? I think so, yeah. I haven't seen the old Forrest Gump in a while. Forrest Gump was one of those movies though that, well, it's a good movie, but it was one of those movies I had on VHS, and so I watched it a few, a few good times, falling asleep. I've definitely probably seen the first like hour of that movie, a shit ton of times, in the basement growing up. Got getting, when I get tired of watching my, because it, it was like a bunch of old like '90s movies and uh, like uh, wrestling DVDs. So when I got tired of watching wrestling, watch the '90s movies. Go back. No, he just loses his leg. I remember that, yeah, he lost his leg in the war. And Bubba dies. That was sad. Bubba shrimp. Oh, bottle of shrimps and stuff. And Forrest, Forrest Gump's like, no, no man left behind. Well, he doesn't say that. He just says, run, Forrest, run. And he says it to himself. And he's like, head. I don't remember what's going on. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are they waiting their turn for Nicholas I had to process that one <laughs> I know but I don't want to know <laughs> you know what am I doing here I'm supposed to assassinate someone I did already assassinate him he's in one of these buildings they don't just have like two big ass bases like these ones Hey. Problem with two shotguns is it's hard to keep those going on. Well, he's just staring at me. It's always fun. Processing. Oh, there she is. Oh. For some reason I was like, oh no, I was nervous. I thought she was gonna take like more health. I forgot. Her lips come off the same too. Look at her. I can't look at her. I, I can't. I can't look at her. No. Uh, that's my daughter. I gotta sit down and think about it. It's a nice chair, man. I didn't know they just keep these nice chairs on this type of map. I might never see this chair again. This is a random generated chair. What's this? Nice convenient. Yeah. Sit here and watch no TV. Include me a TV? Yeah. I wanted to say it's so bad, but this game gives me time splitters vibes. If it had to be that, uh, make like the, the stupid fucking video game reviewer and like line. This game was like if um, Medal of Honor and Time Splitters had a baby. 
to me, like, just my, like, frame of reference, that's, like, the first thing I saw. Uh, just because it's you know, really time splitting. I don't know, it's the way it just handles, because it, it, it came out around the same time. Most types of shooters. Dirty Work was a flawed but enjoyable movie. Isn't that was that a Norm Macdonald movie? I've not seen it, but I've heard a lot about it because I was a fan of Norm Macdonald and listening to interviews and stuff. More, you know, more stuff pops up when motherfucker dies. So there's that. But uh, I like to watch that movie because I've not seen him in too many movies. I think he's in Billy Madison. I know him for like a lot of voice roles. I like his uh, stand up. And this is like a, uh, he has some funny podcasts, but Norm McDonald's, Norm McDonald's a funny man. I think I talked about this last stream, but who cares? RIP. Celebrate good comedian. Or no, fuck celebrities. Let them all die. Is that what you want to hear? Oh, he was a pedophile. So Norm McDonald was a pedophile. Is that what you want to hear? Damn it. Pub Scrub? Yeah, it has been. I noticed I hadn't streamed on this channel on, since September 8th. I looked and I only streamed on the other channel once, so I didn't stream much. But I felt like I was neglecting the main channel. I had to get some content out. Like the Soldier of Fortune video, too. I didn't like a rush, but like I, I focused. I like That's why I, I came home from work and I just worked, 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 because I wanted to get it out before the month was over. Just because, like, to me, I'm like, I want to get three videos out this month. This is like a personal goal. I'm glad I did it. You know, the right, right there at the deadline. I got the buzzer beater. Play the story mode, I guess. Or not. Let's put the whole game. Let's put the whole game. We're not playing the story mode. Let's play Cruelty Squad, man. No way. Maybe not the last mission. I don't want to be out of my element yet. We gotta dedicate a whole stream. A whole stream. I don't remember when it's the last time I played, but it's been like a week or so, I think. Because I was focusing on Soldier's Fortune 2. Well, yeah. Hmm. Beauty is more important than the YouTube. YouTube sucks. But I find it of importance to make stuff for some reason. I still wanted to know it, man. It's cool. I'm going to keep trying. Maybe. I'm going to be the next Kevin Smith, man. Going to make some uh, Clarks. Going to make some Mall Rats. Going to make some political comments on Twitter. Um, I don't know. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that. I'm gonna be the next. You're gonna be the next belt bomber. Well, I won't go on that rant that I was going. What weapons? I feel like that. Because we were just using that. Mm, always fun. Now what level? Let's fuck around with some mall, man. Now what implants? Egg bomber. I look like an egg. What you trying to imply? You trying to call me that we're gonna go back into a Jeffrey Epstein egg penis, and he's gonna come in here and say, "Take a sip." So it makes me grin though when he comes in because I, I like people who are committed, but he'll eventually switch over to another character. 
and then maybe his comments on previous videos from years ago all make sense or he'll keep that account and make a new one that's what an OG does you know if you have like a Hank Hill YouTube or whatever I like this video oh, okay. shut up I just picked why well, they gotta give me the change and shit I'm gonna reinvest in dividend stocks pennies a day to make pennies a day Little big, big old fucking balloons. I haven't seen old Bounty and wife in a while. Every time I don't see him, I just assume they died in some war or something. I don't know what's going on over there, man. I stick to myself in America. You have no clue what you're looking at. What are all these in? Is the screen black or? Okay, no, it's showing. I had to, I had to pull it up to make sure. But you were just talking about cruelty squad. I should have known. Definitely a not a pretty looking thing. It's pretty man. It's great looking. Offers zero protection. Does it at least like impress the enemies? Does it give you different dialogue? What does the extravagant suit do for you? And that's really what I want. I want to buy the house. I want to buy the other level. Okay, well I need this. This is how you find a lot of shit. As much as I like having this to throw stuff. Important too. I guess that's what I want. Sorry, I mean, as you guys may know, it might be the weed, but I tend to overthink everything. I overthink. I just sit there like, whoa, man. My problem, one of my biggest problems in life. Just go with it. Just do it. Which is why... Next weekend, I'm going to Gatlinburg, bro. Me and my girlfriend and my boyfriend brother. My brother. I don't know why I said boyfriend. Probably going to say girlfriend. Yeah, sure. Incest. But, uh, that's going to be fun. My hotel trip. I wanted to do another little getaway. Order wasn't enough for me. I need another taste. A little, just a little vacation. Just going to do a little three day trip. Tennessee isn't far from me. Yeah, oh shit, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. We'll have enough for that house. Oh, John Bell, uh, that's that's gonna be down the line before I get into this. I've already decided if I can go to an apartment instead, just so I can live out in the ni nicer end of town near my work, because uh, it's just uh, I don't know. It, it's it's less of a commitment. Buying a house sounds scary to me, but getting an apartment, I don't know. Because you know the mortgage payment would be cheaper, yada yada. But I, th I think it'd probably it'd probably be even out. In the long well not the long run the, the long run the, the house house better investment clearly but in the short run I just don't know you know I feel like I'm too fickle I, I want to move around I've been I've been in the same fucking place since high school so I just want to go around to just a an apartment and or townhouse with my brother and girlfriend in the nicer end of town just so like, you know I want to just walk around places feel nice that kind of thing I was originally like set, like I'd always talk about it. Like, I want to get my house. <laughs> of course, my high ass. You're talking about the high house in the video game, and I go, "Well, you see me." I'm always talking about my goddamn self. But I just thought because I'm, all, I was rambling on about that forever. Sorry. <laughs> the fuck house. But no, I'll probably never have enough for that fucking thing unless I start fucking with the stock markets in this game. The same thing is everything I said equates to the fucking uh, thing. I'm looking for an apartment in Cruelty Squad. And yeah, if I don't play the stock market, then I'm never going to have a house in real life at this rate. It's all good, my dude. Of course it is. You know you know me. You know I, do, I misinterpret shit. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just completely applied that to myself. Just because you're a regular stream watcher, and I'm like, oh, yeah. So some people have said that, like, oh, boat, the boat house, get the house, boat. Yeah, and, and I've joked about that before, too, buying a castle. Yeah, I'll buy a castle and just invite the Discord there. You guys could pay rent. You know, guys, we could do that. That'd be so terrible, just living with a bunch of people you don't fucking know. 
And then just came in. And it was like, yeah, I'll pay rent. And they just fucking leave. <laughs> Just stuck there with a fucking like ten thousand dollar mortgage on a fucking castle or whatever it's gonna be. Yeah, that's true, Nicholas. Cause like I don't know, like I, I've already explained my stupid plan where I'm just like I want to, well, I want to live in a different part of Kentucky for a while, and then I might go to Florida for a while. But I definitely know I don't want to buy a house in Florida just because it doesn't seem. Some more eyes. It'd be cheaper here too. So I don't know. You never know. Best point. You have fun, be fickle and decisive. But I think that's why for me the smart decision to be the apartment than if I go into a house and then hate it and then like oh, I hate this place. I want to get rid of it and then not be able to sell it. Be trapped with an apartment. You just be stuck there for like a year or whatever. And then you might like it. Sign for another year. Lease. It just sounds sounds a little more seamless commitment. I just wanted to jump into it. I think it was my because my friend bought a house and made me like like oh made a little bit of jealousy like oh I want a house. Could have been that, but even before then I was thinking about it. But then he got into it. I'm like oh, okay, fucking okay. jump the gun quick. Sorry, I wanted to explore the level, but like I know if I go in there, oh yeah, I know what to do. Well, I don't have the rocket launcher. Oh yeah, no, oh yeah, there's the balcony. There, bro. I haven't been there. But I got into, I was just thinking about myself and my life decisions. Leave me alone. Oh, damn, these guys are fucking me up. I could just swing over there in peace. Just use cheats. Are we talking more about the house? But use some sim cheats. The mother load. Yeah, cheats or credit cards. Just you know, you can use a credit card for a <laughs> down payment. <laughs> Sounds like such a bad idea. Just as easy as we could. I want to farm and a co also want to learn a trade. You know, I think these are the things I desire too. Cause yeah, I, I think ideally if I had the option, I would like to have like a, a, a decent sized house, maybe with a little bit of land. I don't want to live in the fucking middle of nowhere. I wouldn't want to like be able to like have to drive a long distance to get somewhere as cool as it would be to have like acres of land. Be like, Oh yeah, fuck everybody. I'm not that kind of person, but Farm, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm too lazy for a farm. For the cult, I'd have a farm fed a cult because then they'd do all the work. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna start that. There you go, you're thinking outside the box, Gonzo. Welcome to the stream. Gabriel. Gonzo. Gabriel. Gonzo. <laughs> Want some. Want some shit. Oh, wow. You don't mean to ruin your atmosphere with my fucking commentary? What server are you playing, huh, John Bell? I'm going to stream snipe you. I got on like I think toolbox station to record that one clip for the soldier of fortune video but since then I, 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 I haven't really played like a full round I don't remember since when oh, I'm already fucking out of ammo for this goddamn it oh no uh the whenever we raise the funds you can't the only way I, I could have a cult with like the audience I have is if like there was like some rich backer that came out of nowhere. It was like, hey Bo Bomb, here's a million dollars. Probably need a few more than a million. There's like like uh, two point five. Go start a compound. We're gonna fuck some shit up. But then it wouldn't be my cult, it'd probably be his cult. Because he's like, you know, the benefactor. 
Uh, at first, he, he would make me think I'm the cult master, but he would be the real one. Let's do that. Do you guys know any billionaires, millionaires? Sounds like a fun arc. Like for good content. Anything for your content, right? Uh, Reddit Island 5000? <laughs> is there a Reddit Island? Is that why you're saying 5000? Or is this just the name you chose? What am I interpreting? At least two cults. I think you can only be in one. The other, was the, oh, don't they get the other cults? Get, don't they get jealous? That's what I was getting at, you know? Maybe. Maybe. I'm already thinking about food, man. I just. I don't want to eat a big meal, get tired, and fucking fall asleep. I was, I was thinking about taking a nap before this. That's why I took a shower. And I'm like, I'm going to stream, so I stay awake. I just feel, I feel exhausted. I'm just staring, staring at computer screens, lifting shit. But I want to lift more shit. What do I want to do? So many what ifs. Uh. <laughs> I, I read sometimes I read these messages backwards and I just read I'm always thinking about going to bed I'm like oh same man I'm always tired but then you said I've got the flu at the moment so I'm like oh this guy's just sick he's not lazy like me good shit man Ray of Hope good luck on your fast that's tough especially on a fucking Friday I couldn't imagine trying to fast or or trying to be sober on a weekend. I've done it, like, you know, it's just. Like, sometimes on Friday and weekends, I just, you know, want to get fucked up and eat big meals. I mean, it's that weird brain Friday, Saturdays, I guess. And then Sunday, I try to relax. They're usually big breakfast. These are like the weird traditions that are, like, embedded, embedded in me, and you guys know what they are. Maybe it's all southern things. The type of traditions that let you die when you're young. They put you out of your misery, but they didn't let you live it. Uh, so it's not putting you out of your misery. It puts you out of your joy because you're really enjoying being a fat ass. And then you just suddenly fucking die one day. You're like, fuck, man, I was enjoying myself. Spice? Spice me lango? What the? Milangi? Me langi? Me langi? I don't know. I can eat a mad dog on thinking sandwiches. See, bread's bad for you because bread is gluten and bread is a carb. And bread, I always forget about bread's bad for you, but it slows you down. It makes you sick. I always think about, and I haven't done it yet, but I probably will eventually. With Subway, they have something called a protein bowl and they just give you the sandwich without the bread. I'm like, man, I should probably do this to be healthy. I haven't mustered up the, the strength to do it. But it's like with Chick-fil-A with fucking, um, you know, fucking skinless nugs. I've done it once and I didn't want to do it again. So I feel like it's how it'd be. It's a healthier option. You know, I'd, you don't got to fry them. So much better. Hot or cold? I'd rather have a hot one. You know, a nice... Burger, burgers are sandwich basically. If that's the case, then the burger's my favorite hot sandwich. What about a grilled cheese sandwich? Subway is always empty. Not always, but it's relatively, you know, not too busy because, yeah, I guess people, you know, if they saw a line, they'd be like, fuck this shit because you gotta sit there and wait. Oh, this is the big guy. I thought it was the small. <laughs> the depth perception had. I, I, I was. In my head, he looked like he was the size of the other guy. <laughs> so I didn't realize it was the big fella. Those waffle fries. From Subway? From where? Subway didn't have waffle fries. They have potato chips and cookie. They try to be healthy, but they got those fucking 200 calorie cookies just sitting there staring at you and like, oh. I usually get that. The only one I ever get is fucking... Was it raspberry cheesecake or some shit? 
They keep talking about food, you know what I mean? It's fresh in the stream, just eat something and think about it. I don't know. Let's end it like we always do with a little, let's see what space station, the state of space station. And I'm thinking that's going to be the next video. We got to get the views up. No, but it might help. It might get some views up. But also, I think at this point, I, don't, I really don't know. I think, I'm curious. I think it'll probably get about the same views as the other shit does. You know, a couple thousand. But I, I, I don't know. I want to play some space station. That's part of it. I won't lie. It's just a curiosity. But also, you know, it's something I've done before. I know how to do it. But like my problem with always just coming to the scripts is like, when I do it, I'm like, sorry, I got thrown off a little bit. My brother came in. I heard him. I heard the door. You got to hear it. But uh, I've, I've definitely said this before. It's just like, what do I do? It just comes. It just feels like it's coming out of the, like as the same video. I mean, that's that's my main reason for not doing it as much. So do like some. I can do that, you know, it's like the two I can think off the top of my head. It's like, oh, here's my story of my wacky round. Or well, I'm going to this weird surfer and make fun of these guys. And it's just, which one should I do? Which video should I do? Kind of feel. There's got to be a third thing. Or like the parody of like a show, which is what I guess I sort of, it was sort of did with the, the sex files. I don't know. Uh... I like when uh, last month was easy because I had a lot, I had that month prior to plan out what videos I wanted to do, but now I'm like, hmm, so I have this. Sorry, I'm gonna go on this ramp for. I should probably do it while I'm launching up the space station server. Uh, feels far away, but like, life web diet, life web light. Uh. What uh, what the on about? Oh yeah, my my ramble of what am I doing next? I've been writing. Well, I haven't been writing. I took a break from writing the the script for the next how to video because I just I, I like writing it, but then I'm like, oh, this video is gonna take like all month to make. It'll probably take all month to make. Not if I if I do it this month, but which is a creepy video. So I kind of want to do it for Halloween, but also I haven't got the list of backgrounds to the. Uh, if you guys know him, Tim. Follow Tim Tim Buck two or Tim Brook to whatever the fuck his name is on Twitter. I'll follow him. The guy who draws the shit. Um, I don't know. I haven't given him the list yet, and I don't want to like get half to like say this. I need it by then. You know what I'm saying? So I'll let him take his time with it whenever I fuck, fuck finally send it to him. So who knows when that video's gonna be done? But I, I just like having that little thing. It's just in the background, just the pending dude. Like oh god, the shitty video. It's gonna come. Ah, oh, just smash you in the face. I kind of hit my nose. But yeah. That'll eventually be here, but until then, I just drop these little shits. Um, I kind of, I, the goal, I, I haven't said anything started yet, but my goal is to maybe have like a little space station video out before, before Thursday. That's when I leave Gatlinburg, so maybe get it out Wednesday. What? You're going to show my password? I, I don't fucking know what, what password should I have in my life, Web. Why does it gotta have for far web to have a password? Hmm. I gotta think of one to use. Like I can't use like my original ones because then I'll go fucking hack my YouTube, which I wasn't going to anyway. Let's just use KKKK. You know, wacky passwords. Let's just use wacky as my wacky. Well, <laughs> Why do I have this a password? I don't know. Um, I think of one. Hmm. That I'll maybe remember. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> the, the password's life web and some numbers. But I don't know if like... I don't know how this works. Like, if you could just log into this character I'm making while I, um, this woman's pose like a mermaid. <laughs> but fucking, uh, I don't know if you just log in with the password. I'd assume you have to have be on my Beyond account and then this. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'm not gonna remember my password. But you guys might. Tim Buck Drew. I couldn't remember his name. Except that. Oh, but thank you, Nicholas. Texas a gorilla. Texas not gonna. Texas character is not gonna be in the next one. 
But I definitely want to bring him back because he's a very important character. You know, I just didn't want to like, uh, you know, run run him, run him through. I don't know. Give him a break. I was thinking about like, hmm, I should put Tex in one of my videos. I haven't done it in a while. But I think that was the last video I put him in because I just felt like that was such. I gave him so many lines and that shit, and I just. You know, I feel like I'm burdening him with that, but it never, he likes doing that stuff. He's cool with it. He likes helping people out, and he has a cool voice, and he knows that. But, um, and I've said it before, but I, I really, when I was making that video, I was more interested in Texas' story than my own story, like, because of the, the A and B story. Mine was the A because it was presented first, but I, I like Texas going through the sewers and just killing shit. It was more fun to animate. Like, that's what I mean by editing wise, I guess. Yeah, it's just, mine was just a lot. Some of mine was just me just standard, listening to the stupid guy I took. But while well, they'd cut the text, and he's like, cutting something up. Ugh. A little fucking Microsoft Paint. <laughs> it looks stupid as shit, but it's fun. Now, Blame Me Beyond's weird. I was having trouble with the, just updating it. It was like when I was updating it, it kept crashing. I think it was because late at night. I don't know what it was. Like, I did it like two times in a row, and it wasn't working. I was just trying to get that footage, and I was like, whatever. And I waited till the next day, and then it worked then. Nude slabs for free. Isn't that a... Whose joke is that? Common etiquette? Sounds like common etiquette. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I think that like would that sounds like one of his names. Like he'd always have like funny like little names and like go on type like long tirade comments. Wow, Joey Book. Hello, Joey Book. We're gonna be a man with a dong. No family. Christian Brown. <laughs> This guy doesn't even spell his fucking Christian name without a fucking. It looks terrible without a fucking H. Christian. Big money, Salvia. Yeah, I haven't watched some of his videos in a while. I used to. I was on a kick for his stuff. He, he's funny. It's just hard to keep up. He's been posting the. Post a good amount. Um, yeah, no, no, I think he's funny. Uh, with uh, and yeah, I think it's interesting they have like older videos of him like doing like Salvia and shit. It's interesting lore. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all the nude slopes for free. That sounds like that sounds familiar. That's all. I'm glad, glad you guys, you guys have seen his stuff too. I got him like recommended like randomly like I think I watched like I've never been a fan of Boogie but I think I was like watching like him like being like on like interviews and stuff so I got I got recommended or Boogie was in one of his videos and then I found an internet comment and then I went down that road of like finding out about him like doing Salvia and shit like oh he's a pretty interesting YouTuber man he does Salvia he's so interesting though drugs don't make you cool I'll be a bum oh no I'm just gonna get fucking murdered Mr. Steve BPL podcast. I have not. I haven't listened to any of the Black Pants of Legion's podcast. Where can you find it? It's not Spotify. I've listened. I haven't listened to his podcast in particular, but I've listened to text on a podcast. He was on Mind Gap or whatever. I think it was. I remember listening to that. He's working in a warehouse. And I'm like, oh, it's so cool hearing text talk about space station on the podcast. Oh. Already stinky. They just set you off bad. Is this like a wait for a train type of scenario, or why are they? They're holding your hand. Look, wall, floor. Not even space station does that. Like normal space station. This isn't space station. This is life web type shit. A life web wouldn't do that, do they? So far, web just tells you what things are, except for that. Station, dick. 
wall, floor, wait, light structure, light fixture. DJ Crib Dev. Oh yeah, no, I've seen that bit where he's, yeah, I don't know, he's like, sort of like a, it's not mumble rap, I don't know, like soft spoken sort of rap, and he made like a whole other page for it. I thought that was funny. I appreciate, appreciate that. I had this idea one time I'm trying to make like another like uh like a making a joke channel. I was gonna do like a furry like let's play. It was like when I was deep into the furry jokes. I was gonna make like a, like a furry let's player or something like that. A Christian furry let's player. I don't know. I wrote it down. It was a really dumb idea. <laughs> cause like cause like no one's gonna find like I can't like naturally like it, it would have to like naturally be like found by people. It wouldn't be a. Uh, it couldn't be like something I can post on my Discord. Oh, hey, check this out. I was like, oh, big dude, that's you. <laughs> it's like, but if like, as people who wouldn't know me, then, you know, I don't know. If I was like, trying some stupid joke, it's like, hey, guys. Like, I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't know. I don't remember what the, the video was. And then I wrote wrote some down about a guy. Well, this, this isn't going to be a separate channel. I was just going to do this for like a stupid, like, little, like, not like a sketch. Like, I was going to do like a fake commercial thing where it's like, there's some guy who reviews dog food. I don't know why I thought it'd be funny. He just sits in. He just eats the dog food and just refuses. It's so stupid. Why was this low? No, they kicked me out. Furry bomber. What would a Christian furry look like to you? He probably wouldn't dress in the fursuit. But like, maybe he'd wear like half of it. I don't know. Dip their toes in it. They, they have their technicalities. And it was like, well, the Bible says Jesus was a furry, and far web doesn't work. Big money, Salvi. <laughs> that little jingle stuck on my head. I need a jingle now. Mister Goat, isn't that uh the Barb? The bar with the black, the, the legion. Um, yes, I I like. Uh, I've done, I've heard him play. I like his. Oh, I gotta remember my password. I guess the server reset. Yeah, he plays the guitar well, and he can just sit there and just he has all these songs. He just pops them out. I've seen him, yeah, do it on the stream, or he'll just do it whenever then the, during the call. It's cool stuff, man. It's cool to have like a friend who's a musician, but not like an actual musician, or like, or like an actual, or not like an actual. I was meant to say an actual one because, like, a, like a, back when you were younger, I don't know if you have experience. I used to like to freestyle rap stuff with my friends, but I thought it would be annoying if you had just like a friend who wanted to just freestyle rap all the fucking time. <laughs> all right, let me pause beat real quick. But and they just want to like, you know, play a little guitar, sing a little song, and they're actually good at it. Let them do it. But they're just like, yo, motherfucker, I come from the hood. You know, they're just got a loud beat playing. I don't know. You know what I mean? That'd be obnoxious. That's not what I'm comparing him to. But when the thought comes ahead, when you're like, "Oh, just have someone who just starts doing music," you know, this, that comes to my head because just that's not really I don't know rap music, but that's just someone who's fucking, uh, you know, you, you you guys have hopefully been around some fun, some fun stupid people getting drunk. Everybody wants to rap. It's time to rap, guys. Put on the beat. We're gonna become the next Wu Tang Clan at the time. Next Odd Future. That is more. Current in my uh, group of friends. <laughs> Welcome, Bo Bomber. Your reliability level, pig. That's kind of mean. You're reliable as a fucking pig. You just roll around the mud and take bong rips. <laughs> Fat bong ripping pig. Uh -huh. It's all about the corner. Uh, I knew I had to die. Yeah, Knuckles on the pumpkin hill. You ready to tussle? I get ill. I'm going to say kill. I said, but I get kill. 
don't know. I was trying to say some, you know, it's like kind of like, yeah, I'm the Polk and Hill song. I don't know. I can't remember it, but every time it goes on, I remember it. It's like, un- it's like unrememberable, but it's memorable. <laughs> you know, I was, it was a good impression, right? So there you go. You know, you, you could tell I was going towards it. Did you get whitelisted to play? I don't think so. Oh, wait, did you have to get whitelisted? I may have, because I think someone invited me to this server, like in the Discord, and I just never played it. And they said, yeah, you can just play when you want. But it's not LifeWeb, though. It's far. I don't know. I have, I, I kind of have a memory of that. It was like after one of my LifeWeb videos, like, hey, but have you got to try this? Oh, wait. We got someone in here. Boat Bomber received your set spout request. Holy shit. Is that Boat Bomber? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm getting recognized, dude. I'm fucking famous by a clean text guy. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I should I, like, advertise my shoe? <laughs> hey, guys, check out my fucking shoe. I don't know how to OOC. Silence, pig! Damn, man, I can't fucking talk. Uh, so, you know, that's like the only like time like I, I I will never be like famous like we're like I mean it'd be annoying to be that famous where, like if you were actually walking I always talk about this like the only, like oh people it's kind of cool you see someone oh my god it's my in a game but like just imagine being that famous you're just walking down the street. Oh my god, it's Bob Palmer! It's a fucking, fucking uh, like parent and their kid. I don't know. That just sounds obnoxious. But it'd be cool to be that rich. I don't know. But I haven't played Space Station in a while, so I think it's cool that some of my still remember. They remember the Bob Bomber name from the Space Station game. But I can't talk to them. I'm not like, oh my god, I love you guys. Thank you. You creepy fucks playing Far Web. Damn. Fans are now silent. Uh, yeah, no, that's my alt. Oh, so you are a farmer already? Yeah, the, yeah. This is snake. He should just told me that, and I agree with him. Manta Ray. You are not ready. Ready. Dick size horse. My dick's the size of a whole horse. My dick could eat a horse. My dick could fuck a horse. Everyone is a fucking pig. Boring communist. That's an acceptable name. Very acceptable. You're a sniffer. What the fuck's a sniffer? I better just be a giant nose walking around. Have legs coming out the nostrils. Then you wouldn't do this. They'd block up the fucking pathway. Your, your canals. Your nasal canals. Oh, great. I can't already see a canal. You're half blind. You, your character is half blind because you are a pig. Suffer well. You profess post Christianity. What is post Christianity? What happened after the rapture? And it was like, eh, we got left behind. But if we like try again, is that the thing? Post Christianity. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. It just took a minute to wake up. Hopefully, it doesn't happen at all. Uh, I swear it's the same thing the bomb was wearing. Sniffer wife, what's the sniffer? Is, is someone gonna come in here and, and I'm not gonna have to like sniff them? You just like, is my servant? Someone's gonna walk in here, 
sniff my ass and just fucking shove my face in there. I'm like, ah, I don't want that life. I can kill someone if they're gonna do that to me. Oh, I'm gonna detect it. I see. That kind of sniffer. I had to make it weird and sexual, of course. That's not what a Christian furry would do. Dude, don't talk, talk to me about my alter ego. Still should do that. Now I gotta come up with another good neck, but I can't tell you what it is. That green face is creepy down there. The eyes slowly move around. He's on some doom shit. He doesn't move as fast. The doom, the doom guy is like, oh, everything. He's fucking paranoid. This guy's just kind of chilling. It looks like he's just sitting in a waiting room. His, oh, I'm guessing his face changes based on who's been. So if I'm anxious, will he be like, <laughs> who knows? Is that what's going to happen far away? Or are you, you going to spoil it? Are you, are you spoiling it for me? What's going on? Let's pull it. A fucking bog ball stuck. Probably need a cleaning. Sniffer room. I really don't like that. It just draw my eyes just get drawn to it like subtitles, which I've kind of got had to get used to because my girlfriend likes watching things with subtitles. So I've kind of gotten used to it, but like watching something and just ignoring the subtitles. But they bother me. Like, why does it need subtitles? Just tell you what everything is. It's kind of you, but I know what everything is in space station. No ice, hot water, this, huh? This water's pretty cold. Oh, oh, oh. I want the bong. <laughs> um, it's either that or that, I don't know. I'm talking about the bong, I'm assuming. Uh, it's fucking with you. I don't know. I thought the game was frozen. Um, so I was trying to freeze. Sometimes I put ice in the bong. People say it makes the smoke cooler. I don't really know. I think it's maybe. Yeah, man. Why don't you have any ice cubes in your fucking bottled water? You can't fit them. Brazil, or is this just the fucking surface web, life web, or is it me? I was playing Space Station when I first launched it up. My ping was in the thousands. Hello, Lone Z Five. I haven't been streaming, so good timing. I haven't streamed since fucking I was trying to stream my main channel. Goddamn Rio showed up to my house. Uh, that was my last stream on the main channel. Bong five head. Oh yeah, I do got a big head. Big ass forehead. Gets even bigger if I sh cut my head and get rid of my little hairline here. It is Brazil.
There it is. Co-current viewer is two. Damn. Four. It says four here and two here. Seems like there was more. You guys were talking a little bit. That Rio stream was insane. Yeah, Rio kept buying people over. His whatever girlfriend. <clears throat> and uh, the, my girlfriend of forever showed up at the ends and we talked. Speaking of, I want to go see her and her cats. Probably going to end the stream soon. The guy started fighting Rio was funny. Well, Rio always gets upset. He, just, he always fucking tries to. Well, not upset, but you know, he, he'll, he'll just keep attacking the guy. I do the same thing sometimes too. It's easy to do. It's just banter. I think I was, I was probably fucking um, egging it on. What word I'm looking for? More cat and dog video win. Or maybe I'll have, to, I'll have to show some cat. My girlfriend has some cute cats. I noticed that after I was watching the recording that that cat I was petting in the. The video you were talking about recently had th thumbs. My girlfriend's cat also has thumbs. But yeah, there's this little kid and had thumbs, man. Thumbs are cool on cats, man. It's a little extra feature. Good timing to joint the stream. I like the way, I mean, put it out, putting the joint of the stream out. This thing is not fucking. I don't know if it's me or you, Farweb. Thanks for shouting me out, OOC. I didn't do shit. I just showed up. It's like a famous wrestler showing up for like a, a little gimmick at the end there. He's like, oh yeah, Ric Flair. Oh my God, it's Ric Flair. He just comes up and slaps him in the chest and then leaves. I didn't even smack anyone in the chest. I just fucking waved. What the hell am I talking about? I didn't even slap anyone in the chest. You know, wrestling. That's where my mind goes. Analogies. But okay. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, everyone. That was the good old regulars and Snake. Joey Buck, Lone Z5, you're the last people I've seen in the chat, so yeah.